Driving Theory Test for Vulnerable Road Users Question 466 When approaching a junction where a pedestrian is crossing the road what should a driver do? A. Wave the pedestrian on. B. Yield right of way to the pedestrian. C. Carry on because the pedestrian only has right of way at a pedestrian crossing. D. Sound the horn as a warning of your approach. Question 466 Answer B. Yield right of way to the pedestrian. Explanation You should never put a pedestrian at risk, and you must always yield to pedestrians crossing who have started to cross at junctions. Question 467 What should a driver do if their progress is hindered by a cyclist ahead? A. Drive close behind to encourage the cyclist to pull in. B. Stay well back until there is an opportunity to overtake safely. C. Sound the horn to encourage the cyclist to move over. D. Try to squeeze past the cyclist despite oncoming traffic. Question 467 Answer B. Stay well back until there is an opportunity to overtake safely. Explanation You should always be aware of the vulnerability of cyclists and other road users. Give cyclists extra space, especially when are overtaking them, as they may swerve, wobble or change direction. Question 468 When stopped at traffic lights and the green light comes on but pedestrians are still crossing the road, what should a driver do? A. Signal the pedestrians to warn them of the lights changing and move out when it changes. B. Sound the horn as a warning to them that the lights are about to change. C. Inch forward in your vehicle to encourage them to complete the crossing quickly. D. Wait as long as necessary to enable them to complete the crossing. Question 468 Answer D. Wait as long as necessary to enable them to complete the crossing. Explanation A green traffic light means you should go if the way is clear. If pedestrians are crossing, give way to them and let them finish crossing before proceeding. Question 469 What should a driver do when they see a slow-moving vehicle ahead being driven by a learner driver? A. Quickly overtake the vehicle to avoid being delayed. B. Be patient and allow extra time to the driver if necessary. C. Sound the horn to encourage the driver to speed up. D. Drive close behind the vehicle to encourage the driver to speed up. Question 469 Answer B. Be patient and allow extra time to the driver if necessary. Explanation You should be patient when driving behind a learner driver. Learners are not as experienced as other road users and may drive erratically. Question 470 what should a driver do when they see a slow-moving vehicle ahead being driven by a learner driver? A. Stay back until the driver can overtake safely. B. Drive close behind the vehicle in front and flash your headlights. C. Overtake the vehicle as quickly as possible. D. Sound the horn to encourage the driver to pull in. Question 470 Answer A. Stay back until the driver can overtake safely. Explanation You should be patient when driving behind a learner driver. Learners are not as experienced as other road users and may drive erratically. Question 471 What way is an inexperienced learner driver likely to react in traffic situations? A. The same as an experienced driver. B. Slower than an experienced driver. C. More correctly than an experienced driver. D. More quickly than an experienced driver. Question 471 Answer B. Slower than an experienced driver. Explanation You should be patient when driving behind a learner driver. Learners may not anticipate and react to situations as well as an experienced driver would. Question 472 a driver sees a cyclist just ahead who is about to overtake a parked vehicle there is no oncoming traffic, what should a driver do? A. 
allow the cyclist to overtake the parked vehicle and then proceed. b. Overtake the cyclist before the cyclist has a chance to overtake the parked vehicle. c. Allow enough clearance to overtake both the parked vehicle and the cyclist together. d. Expect the cyclist to go on the inside of the vehicle. Question 472 Answer A. Allow the cyclist to overtake the parked vehicle and then proceed. Explanation You should always read the road ahead and be prepared to react to changing traffic situations. In this case you should allow the cyclist ahead to overtake the parked car first. Question 473 In slow-moving traffic in a built-up area, what should a driver do when approaching a pedestrian crossing? A. Drive close up behind the vehicle in front and move forward when it moves. B. Avoid obstructing the pedestrian crossing only if there are pedestrians on the crossing. C. Time their stop, start movements to avoid obstructing the pedestrian crossing. D. Stop your vehicle on the pedestrian crossing if necessary. Question 473 Answer C. Time their stop. Start movements to avoid obstructing the pedestrian crossing. Explanation. When you are in slow-moving traffic and approaching a pedestrian crossing, you should not proceed onto the crossing unless you can clear it completely without stopping. Blocking a crossing could inconvenience pedestrians wishing to cross at that point. Question 474. At road junctions, what type of road users are particularly vulnerable? A minibus or van drivers b tractor drivers c car drivers d motorcyclists question 474 answer d motorcyclists explanation vehicles do not have an automatic right of way at junctions as a driver you should pay particular attention to vulnerable road users such as pedestrians cyclists and motorcyclists and be aware that they are entitled to use the road in safety. Question 475. At road junctions, what type of road users are particularly vulnerable? A. Minibus or van drivers. B. Tractor drivers. C. Pedestrians. D. Car drivers. Question 475 Answer. C pedestrians. Explanation. Vehicles do not have an automatic right of way at junctions. As a driver you should pay particular attention to vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists and be aware that they are entitled to use the road in safety. Question 476. At road junctions, what type of road users are particularly vulnerable? A. Minibus or van drivers. B. Cyclists. C. Tractor drivers. D. Car drivers. Question 476 Answer. B. Cyclists. Explanation. Vehicles do not have an automatic right of way at junctions. As a driver you should pay particular attention to vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists and be aware that they are entitled to use the road in safety. Question 477. At traffic lights, a driver should take particular care for which road users coming up on the left? A. Buses or vans. B. Cars. C. Cyclists. D. Tractors. Question 477. Answer. C. Cyclists. Explanation. Before moving off at traffic lights you should be aware of cyclists and motorcyclists coming up on the left in general, in particular where there is an advanced stop line for cyclists ahead of that for other road users. Question 478. At traffic lights, a driver should take particular care for which road users coming up on the left? A. Buses or vans. B. Motorcyclists. C. Cars. D. Tractors. Question 478 Answer. B. Motorcyclists. Explanation. Before moving off at traffic lights you should be aware of cyclists and motorcyclists coming up on the left, 
in particular where there is an advanced stop line for cyclists ahead of that for other road users. Question 479. What should a driver do if the traffic light changes to green while pedestrians are still crossing at traffic lights or at a pelican crossing? A. Wait patiently and let them cross at ease. B. Reverend your engine to encourage them to hurry along. C. Beckon them along as quickly as possible. D. Move off slowly. Question 479 Answer A. Wait patiently and let them cross at ease. Explanation You must always yield to pedestrians already crossing at a pedestrian crossing or junction, and you must not hurry them off the crossing by aggressive actions. Vehicles do not have a greater right of way over other road users. Question 480. When a driver intends to make a left-hand turn on a busy city street junction and there are pedestrians and cyclists around, what should the driver do? A. Signal left, watch the right-hand mirror and make the turn when it is clear. B. Watch for cyclists or pedestrians who may try to cross the road in front of the vehicle. C. Stay tight on the left so as to prevent cyclists or pedestrians coming up your left side. D. Honk your horn. Question 480 Answer B. Watch for cyclists or pedestrians who may try to cross the road in front of the vehicle. Explanation The vehicle does not have a greater right of way than any other road user. As a driver you should pay particular attention to vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists and be aware that they are entitled to use the road in safety. Question 481 When a driver intends to make a left-hand turn on a busy city street junction and there are pedestrians and cyclists around, what should the driver do? A. Stay tight on the left so as to prevent cyclists or pedestrians coming up your left side. B. Watch for cyclists or pedestrians on the left. C. Signal left, watch the right-hand mirror and make the turn when it is clear. D. Honk your horn. Question 481 Answer B. Watch for cyclists or pedestrians on the left. Explanation the vehicle does not have a greater right of way than any other road user. As a driver you should pay particular attention to vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists and be aware that they are entitled to use the road in safety. Question 482 When a driver intends to make a left-hand turn on a busy city street junction and there are pedestrians and cyclists around, what should the driver do? A. Allow comfort space for any pedestrian on the left. B. Stay tight on the left so as to prevent cyclists or pedestrians coming up your left side. C. Signal left, watch the right-hand mirror and make the turn when it is clear. D. Honk your horn. Question 482 Answer A. Allow comfort space for any pedestrian on the left. Explanation. The vehicle does not have a greater right of way than any other road user. As a driver you should pay particular attention to vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists and be aware that they are entitled to use the road in safety. Question 483 In slow-moving city traffic, a driver should occasionally check their blind spots for which road users in particular? A. Cyclists. B. Other large vehicles. C. Horse-drawn carriages. D. Taxis. Question 483 Answer. A. Cyclists. Explanation. In slow-moving city traffic, you should be aware of and check your blind spots before any maneuver. Cyclists can easily become hidden in a blind spot, and in slow-moving traffic, they might be moving faster than you are. Question 484. In slow-moving city traffic, a driver should occasionally check their blind spots for which road users in particular? A. Other large vehicles. B. Motorcyclists. C. Parking bays. D. Taxis.
Question 484 Answer B. Motorcyclists. Explanation. In slow moving city traffic, you should be aware of and check your blind spots before any maneuver. Cyclists can easily become hidden in a blind spot, and in slow moving traffic, they might be moving faster than you are. Question 485. In slow moving city traffic, a driver should occasionally check their blind spots for which road users in particular? A. Proceed if you can edge your way through. B. Tell them to be careful and wave them across. C. Beckon them to return to the side. D. Pedestrians. Question 485 Answer. D. Pedestrians. Explanation. In slow moving city traffic, you should be aware of and check your blind spots before any maneuver. Pedestrians can easily become hidden in a blind spot, and in slow moving traffic, they might be moving faster than you are. Question 486. What should a driver do when approaching a junction with green traffic lights where there are elderly people crossing? A. Sound the horn to warn them that you are approaching and maintain your speed. B. Increase speed to pass quickly. C. Allow them to cross in their own time. D. Increase engine noise to warn the person of your approach. Question 486 Answer. C. Allow them to cross in their own time. Explanation. When approaching a junction with green traffic lights, you should never assume that you have an automatic right of way. You should be aware that some road users, such as elderly pedestrians, may need extra time to clear the junction. Question 487. If the traffic lights change while pedestrians are still crossing at Pelican crossings or traffic lights, what should a driver do? A. Increase speed to pass quickly. B. Wait patiently and let them cross with ease. C. Sound the horn to warn them that you are approaching and maintain your speed. D. Increase engine noise to warn the person of your approach. Question 487 Answer B. Wait patiently and let them cross with ease. Explanation you must always yield to pedestrians already crossing at a pedestrian crossing or junction, and you must not hurry them off the crossing by aggressive actions. Vehicles do not have a greater right of way over other road users. Question 488. What should a driver do if they see an elderly person crossing the road up ahead? A. Increase engine noise to warn the person of your approach. B. Sound the horn to warn them that you are approaching and maintain your speed. C. Reduce speed and let the person to complete the crossing safely. D. Increase speed to pass quickly. Question 488 Answer. C. Reduce speed and let the person to complete the crossing safely. Explanation. You must not put pedestrians at risk, and you must give way to them while they are crossing. Be cautious and patient with pedestrians, particularly if they are elderly or infirm. Question 489. What should a driver do if while driving at 80 km per hour they see children on the road ahead? A. Maintain your speed. B. Sound the horn to warn them of your approach and maintain your speed. C. Turn on your headlights. D. Reduce speed and prepare to stop if necessary. Question 489 Answer D. Reduce speed and prepare to stop if necessary. Explanation You should be aware that children can be unpredictable, and you should slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Question 490 What should a driver do when they see children just ahead on the road? A. Give them a wide clearance and be prepared to slow down if necessary. B. Keep your course as the noise of the engine will make them keep in. C. Flash your lights and sound your horn to warn them of your approach. D. Flash your lights to warn them of your presence and maintain your present speed. Question 490 Answer A. Give them a wide clearance and be prepared to slow down if necessary. Explanation. You should be aware that children can be unpredictable, 
and you should be prepared to slow down and give extra clearance to them if necessary. Question 491. When driving on a windy day and a cyclist is up ahead, what should a driver do? A. Allow extra clearance in case the cyclist is blown off course. B. Expect the cyclist to be alert and to keep in not the left. C. Maintain your course but sound the horn as a warning. D. Maintain your course but prepare to swerve around the cyclist if necessary. Question 491 Answer A. Allow extra clearance in case the cyclist is blown off course. Explanation You should never cut in front of cyclists when overtaking them. Give cyclists plenty of space especially in windy weather as they can easily be blown off course. Question 492 What should a driver do when overtaking a cyclist? A. Allow extra clearance in case the cyclist swerves suddenly. B. Sound the horn as a warning and overtake the cyclist as quickly as possible. C. Drive close to the cyclist and overtake promptly. D. Sound the horn as a warning. Question 492 Answer A. Allow extra clearance in case the cyclist swerves suddenly. Explanation You should never cut in front of cyclists when overtaking them. Give them plenty of space especially as they may change direction suddenly, for example, to avoid a pothole, or because they are blown off course by a strong gust of wind. Question 493 What should a driver do when they see joggers ahead on the left? A. The driver should sound the horn and flash its lights to warn them of their presence. B. Expect them to move in so the driver can pass them by. C. Indicate, use the mirrors and overtake allowing sufficient clearance. D. Check the mirrors, indicate and overtake the joggers allowing them sufficient clearance. Question 493 Answer D. Check the mirrors, indicate and overtake the joggers allowing them sufficient clearance. Explanation People on the road are more vulnerable than vehicles so you should treat them with care. If you see people jogging ahead, use the mirror, signal, mirror, blind spots maneuver routine and give sufficient clearance to the joggers when you are overtaking them. Question 494 When driving on a road that has a potholed surface and there is a cyclist ahead, what should a driver do? A. Allow extra clearance in case the cyclist swerves out to avoid a pothole. B. Change to a lower gear and overtake quickly. C. Expect the cyclist to keep to the left and maintain your speed. D. Maintain your course and sound your horn to alert the cyclist of your approach. Question 494 Answer A. Allow extra clearance in case the cyclist swerves out to avoid a pothole. Explanation, you should always be aware of how vulnerable cyclists are. When you are driving on a road with potholes or bad surfaces, take into account that they may have to swerve suddenly to avoid potholes. Question 495, what precautions should a driver take in relation to pedestrians when driving in slow-moving traffic? A. Watch for pedestrians who may cross the road in front of your vehicle. B. Allow them to cross the road only at pedestrian crossings. C. Reverend your engine occasionally as a warning. D. Do not leave a gap between your vehicle and the vehicle in front. Question 495 Answer A. Watch for pedestrians who may cross the road in front of your vehicle. Explanation In slow-moving city traffic, you should be aware of and check your blind spots before any maneuver. Pedestrians can easily become hidden in a blind spot and in slow-moving traffic, they might be moving faster than you are. Question 496. What should a driver be aware of when making a left-hand turn? A. Check for pedestrians or cyclists who may have come up on the inside. B. Following traffic must have room to overtake. C. Cyclists might come up on the outside. D. You should approach with the near side wheels brushing against the curb. Question 496 Answer A. Check for pedestrians or cyclists who may have come up on the inside. Explanation 
When you are turning left, you should be aware that cyclists and pedestrians may come up on your inside. Always check to your left before you make a left turn. Question 497. When driving through a residential area, what particular hazards should a driver be aware of? A. Vehicles may drive or reverse onto the road. B. Minimum loading limits may apply. C. All the traffic may be slow moving. D. Parking fees may apply. Question 497 Answer A. Vehicles may drive or reverse onto the road. Explanation When driving through a built up area, you should drive with care and always be ready for the unexpected, such as other vehicles driving or reversing out onto the road unexpectedly. Question 498 When driving through a residential area, what particular hazards should a driver be aware of? A. Obey the speed limit and maintain their course. B. Switch on the hazard warning lights. C. Children or residents may come out suddenly. D. Parking fees may apply. Question 498 Answer C. Children or residents may come out suddenly. Explanation When driving through a built up area, you should drive with care and always be ready for the unexpected, such as children running out onto the road. Question 499 When driving on a country road without footpaths, what should a driver look out for coming towards them on their side of the road? A. Pedestrians. B. Motorcycles. C. Cyclists. D. Tractors. Question 499 Answer A. Pedestrians. Explanation Pedestrian deaths account for 1 in 5 fatalities on our roads, so you should always be on the lookout for pedestrians, especially on country roads where there is no footpath. Question 500 What should a driver do when driving at night on an unlit road? A. Drive as close as possible to the line of reflective studs. B. Watch out for pedestrians wearing dark clothing. C. Drive on the center of the road. D. Maintain their speed when meeting oncoming traffic. Question 500 Answer B. Watch out for pedestrians wearing dark clothing. Explanation While driving at night and even with the best headlights, it can be very difficult to see all the hazards that you might come across, for example, pedestrians wearing dark clothing. At night you should drive at a speed that will enable you to stop safely within the distance you can see to be clear ahead. Question 501. What should a driver do when driving at night on an unlit road? A. Drive on the center of the road. B. Watch out for cars parked on the left. C. Maintain their speed when meeting oncoming traffic. D. Drive as close as possible to the line of reflective studs. Question 501 Answer B. Watch out for cars parked on the left. Explanation While driving at night and even with the best headlights, it can be very difficult to see all the hazards that you might come across, for example, pedestrians wearing dark clothing. At night you should drive at a speed that will enable you to stop safely within the distance you can see to be clear ahead. Question 502 what should a driver do when driving at night on an unlit road? A. Watch out for stray animals or livestock. B. Maintain their speed when meeting oncoming traffic. C. Drive on the center of the road. D. Drive as close as possible to the line of reflective studs. Question 502 Answer A. Watch out for stray animals or livestock. Explanation while driving at night and even with the best headlights, it can be very difficult to see all the hazards that you might come across, for example, pedestrians wearing dark clothing. At night you should drive at a speed that will enable you to stop safely within the distance you can see to be clear ahead. Question 503. What could happen if a driver parks on a footpath? A. The suspension could be weakened. B. The tires could lose air pressure. C. Traffic could be impeded. D. Pedestrians could be impeded. 
Question 503 Answer D. Pedestrians could be impeded. Explanation You should never park on a footpath. Pedestrians, including people with young children in pushchairs and prams, might have to go onto the road to get around your car, and this could put them in danger. Question 504 What should a driver do when driving along and there is a cyclist on the road up ahead? A. Check the mirrors, indicate in good time and move out if it is safe to do so. B. Indicate, check the mirror and move out. C. Indicate, move out and check the mirror for following traffic. D. Use your mirrors, and move out to overtake without indicating. Question 504 Answer A. Check the mirrors, indicate in good time and move out if it is safe to do so. Explanation You should overtake only when it is safe to do so. Give extra space to cyclists when you are overtaking them, as they may need to move out to avoid a pothole. Or they could be blown into your path on windy days. Question 505 If indicators are not fitted or are not working, how should signals be given? A. It is not necessary to give signals provided you look around. B. Your position on the road is a signal in itself. C. By hand, clearly and in good time. D. Verbally, out your window. Question 505 Answer C. By hand, clearly and in good time. Explanation If, for whatever reason, your vehicle does not have indicators or has indicators that are not working, you should know how to use the appropriate hand signals to alert other road users of your intention to change direction. Question 506 What should a driver do when traveling on a country road with following traffic, and they meet pedestrians? A. Flash their lights so that following traffic might see the pedestrian. B. Leave a minimum safety clearance of 25 centimeters. C. Signal to following traffic their intention to overtake the pedestrians. D. Gesture to the pedestrian to move in off the road. Question 506 Answer C. Signal to following traffic their intention to overtake the pedestrians. Explanation When you are driving on a road without footpaths, you should take extra care when you come upon pedestrians on the road. If you have to move out to overtake and there is following traffic, check your mirrors and signal in good time to alert the drivers behind that there is a hazard ahead. Question 507 In relation to cyclists and pedestrians, what should a driver be aware of when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings on unlit country roads? A. Car has the correct tire pressure. B. They will always be wearing reflective clothing and lighting. C. Cyclists are much more vulnerable in poor lighting conditions. D. Cyclists are less vulnerable in poor lighting conditions. Question 507 Answer C. Cyclists are much more vulnerable in poor lighting conditions. Explanation you should take extra care when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings. Vulnerable road users such as cyclists and pedestrians, particularly school children, might not be so easy to see in low light conditions. Question 508 In relation to cyclists and pedestrians, what should a driver be aware of when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings on unlit country roads? A. Car tires have the correct tire pressure. B. Cyclist and pedestrians will always be visible. C. A driver should take extra care for cyclists and pedestrians in the countryside as they may not be clearly visible. D. Cyclists and pedestrians are less vulnerable in poor lighting conditions. Question 508 Answer C. A driver should take extra care for cyclists and pedestrians in the countryside as they may not be clearly visible. Explanation: You should take extra care when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings. Vulnerable road users such as cyclists and pedestrians, particularly school children, might not be so easy to see in low light conditions. Question 509 In relation to pedestrians, what should a driver be aware of when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings? 
A. There will be no pedestrians on the road. B. That there could be vulnerable pedestrians walking in the countryside. C. Have no effect on your ability to see vulnerable pedestrians. D. All pedestrians in the countryside will be wearing reflective armbands and bright clothing, and will be clearly visible to you. Question 509 Answer B. That there could be vulnerable pedestrians walking in the countryside. Explanation You should take extra care when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings. Vulnerable road users such as cyclists and pedestrians, particularly school children, might not be so easy to see in low light conditions. Question 510 In relation to pedestrians. What should a driver be aware of when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings? A. Stray animals may be on the road. B. School children are more vulnerable on unlit country roads on dark winter mornings and evenings. C. You should drive with full headlights at all times in order to see pedestrians walking on unlit country roads. D. You should anticipate that any pedestrians up ahead will be on a footpath and will be free from danger from your vehicle. Question 510 Answer B. School children are more vulnerable on unlit country roads on dark winter mornings and evenings. Explanation You should take extra care when driving on dark winter mornings and evenings. Vulnerable road users such as cyclists and pedestrians, particularly school children, might not be so easy to see in low light conditions. Question 826. At traffic lights a driver should take particular care for which road users coming up on the left? A. Vans. B. Motorcyclists. C. Cars. D. Trucks. Question 826 answer. B. Motorcyclists. Explanation. Before moving off at traffic lights you should be aware of cyclists and motorcyclists coming up on the left, in particular where there is an advanced stop line for cyclists ahead of that for other road users. Question 827. What should a driver be aware of when making a left-hand turn? A. Following traffic must have room to overtake. B. To approach with the near side wheels brushing against the curb. C. Cyclists might come up on the outside. D. Cyclists might come up on the inside. Question 827 Answer. D. Cyclists might come up on the inside. Explanation. When you are turning left, you should be aware that cyclists and pedestrians may come up on your inside. Always check to your left before you make a left turn.